Hey, here we are. This is your daily hour with me. This is a normal introduction. Sean. Sean. Your daily hour. Sean. Hey, welcome. Hey. Hey, everybody. Yeah, your daily hour is uh, me and your weekly hour, Sean. Hey, guys. How's it going? My name's. My name's Sean, and I'm here every Sunday on the program. Look what day it is, yeah, if you check it out, it's Sunday. Uh, so we talked for a whole hour. Today is no different. Yep. Uh, so yeah, we got some food today, and it's a Sunday. Make some phone calls, see how everybody's doing. I, uh, I, I work with kids, and I was very excited to see that there were some kids on the show recently. Um, they seem to be really good at talking and very into the experience, so I think if we get more kids on the show, that'll be fun. I, I would love to do uh, the program with some kids or, or an elderly person. That would be great, too. Yeah. Well, we've had people of all age ranges. I think those kids are probably the youngest people on here. I guess I don't, I don't, know, I don't think I should probably figure out who the oldest person may Maybe John Whalen. John Whalen might be the oldest. John Whalen may be the oldest person who's ever been on the show. Two, two, I think it was two or three weeks ago, I made a uh, work of art. I guess it, it fell over. Yep. It didn't work. It didn't, it didn't stay up right. It was un structurally unsound. It's on the ground now. I, I got it all right here on the floor. So maybe later in the episode, I'll, I'll break it apart, break it into many pieces, and see if I can make something that is more uh, sustainable. Yeah, well... You need some better tape. It was that the issue was the tape? Yeah, the tape, it didn't stay on the wall. It fell off. It was not thick enough. So I don't know if you have any better tape today. That is no good, no good tape. Um, you have tax? Mm, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think we have some tax. I don't know if we have any left. So this is a new sweet chili sauce. Oh, I should have got a shot of the new sweet chili sauce. Um, uh, yeah, here. Look it up. The new sweet chili sauce. Oh. Something, something crazy happened. Oh, there we're back. All right. Well, it's, yeah, it's the new sweet chili sauce label. Remember the old, old one was black. Um, I don't know if I, I don't think I have any of the old ones here. But I remember seeing a green one. Yeah, the green one was regular, um, regular sweet and sour sauce. So I'm tasting this new sweet chili sauce. And I think it tastes about the same as the old one. But uh, I don't know if people remember. It's like the old sweet chili sauce. It's good. They brought it back. Remember? Yeah. This is what we did. We, I've been calling the calls. Let's keep the same. Of course, that sweet chili sauce. And now they brought it back. I did it. I've done it, and now it's here. So yeah, the the your daily hour program, it, it can move mountains. Yeah. You know that's what the community is all about. Is that you call, you you say what's on your mind, and you you know if there's a problem with society. We, we talk about it, and then they fix it. They yeah. change those things. We make things happen. We can fix your problems, yeah. If you call in, call, so if you want to call the number, if you have any problem, we can um, deal with them as a community here. We can reach out to all the watchers. You know, you're watching the show. You're sitting down, you're watching the show, and then other people, they're doing the same thing that you're doing, and they all want to, um, you know, maybe you have something that you want to tell all the people who are watching the show at the same time. Call the number. So you can call, call the number, or you can get online. Let's sure. shoot us an email. And then we'll tell everybody. So if you have anything you want to say, it's a, it's a good public forum. It's a, it's a live message board. Yeah. We're eating, so it's going to try to say stuff, but we have stuff in our mouth, too. I think, I think it's really awesome when people... When they, when they call in, they tell us about their problems. Because uh, misery loves company, and that's a very entertaining for 
of us, just give us a call and see how how we're doing, and we'll tell you what our day was like. All right, you can leave a message like this message. Listen to this one. Hey, Kenny, this is Bird. Good afternoon. It's about quarter after three on Saturday, and. Uh, Gosh, I hope you're having a good show today. Yep. And I uh, hope all your regular callers call in and um, you can call me back if you want. Um, otherwise, I just wanted to um, tell you to vote for Stephen Buxbaum no. for the mayor. Um, not saying there's anything wrong with the other candidates. Perfectly wonderful people. But I just think that Stephen Buxbaum has what it takes to do the best job amongst their, our candidates. What do you think? So No. Yeah. I hope well, Stephen Buxbaum is financially responsible. Talk to you later. Bye. But Kenny, I mean, you're supposed to be the, the middleman. You can't take sides. You know, I just heard he was financially responsible. Uh, you decide if you like if you like people like that, then like being you financially vote for them. responsible is a good thing. Yeah, maybe if you like that kind of thing, then you could vote for him. So you're saying it's not a good thing to vote because he's. I'm just I'm just gonna leave it at that. He's responsible. Irresponsible. Oh, he's irresponsible. You think? Financially, financially irresponsible. He's financially irresponsible. Yeah. Is there proof behind that? Yeah. So look out. The next message by Dan from Dan. Dan Bennett? Yep. I spy with my little eye. I see Kenny, and I see Lewis, and I see Bird. Why, I've never seen Bird on the television before. Well, I think that's really groovy. And, uh, you know, Kenny, you're talking about, uh, <laughs> The bad person built. He was uncooperative and therefore foolish. Yes, he was foolish. Yeah, and uh, I have no foolish. intention of voting for him because, um, you know, he uh, thought he was too good for the show, for the program. And it's just no good. He was a foolish, foolish, foolish man. Yes. So I just wanted to let you know I'm watching the program and. Okay. Bye. Bye. Come on, Dan. Thanks, Dan. That's a pretty um, good message. Good yeah. job. But come on. He was talking about Bird. And Bird was on the show. He didn't he didn't like what Bird was doing? Yeah, Bird just called in before. That message before was from Bird. And then Dan called in about Bird. So right. that's pretty good. on that day, so that's why he called. Um, we have a pretty good schedule going still here. Tomorrow, tomorrow's the 4th of July. It's the 3rd of July, say, in, in TV time, so. What do, you, what do you like to do for the 4th of July, Sean? Uh, this year, I'm actually going to be in town, so. I don't know, what does Olympia do? Do, do, do we fireworks. do something? There's a fireworks show? Uh, no, everybody does their own fireworks fire show, right? So you guys can go to that. The, in, into your backyards and explode things. I guess I'm going to ask what my friends are doing. Uh, I might be might be tempted to, to hang out with the family. Yeah. So I guess we'll we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I like those fireworks. It was a pretty fun time. I'm not impressed with fireworks. After after seeing them for at least 10 years, you know, by the time you hit teenage years, you're kind of cynical and you're like, uh, they're not. They haven't changed, you know. Yeah, but they're explosions. I think fireworks are better than anything people can do. I always think that when you see fireworks, I'm like, you know, you see like performing people and stuff. I ha I, I would like to see some more progression with the fireworks. I think in the past 20 years, you know, we probably have only made them cheaper and easier. I, I would like to see more expensive, more like color bending, uh, you know. Uh, one time on the 4th of July, I saw somebody light a giant tire on fire with gasoline and then they pushed it down a hill yeah. and then it left a big fire trail. That wasn't more fancy. That was that's, actually less fancy. Really fancy yeah. But it was pretty awesome. Uh, that, you, you could do stuff like that, but I think that's not a good idea. Maybe you might burn yourself. So. Um, I'm 
don't know. I don't think we can get any fireworks for the program tomorrow, though, because it's not the real fourth for us on the program. Maybe so we can, like, get some footage yeah. of fireworks and then air that. Yeah. There, you, can, you can play a video of fireworks on the computer. Yeah. I'll take the clock cam pointing at the screen. Yeah, that'll be tomorrow. That's going to be tomorrow, though, with Dan. Dan's actually a Canadian, kind of. I don't know if he, I mean, maybe he's an American now, but uh, he was originally a Canadian, so we'll see how I mean, we're going to spend a full draw with a Canadian. He, he came to America because he likes the American ladies. Yeah. Well, let's call Freddie, the producer, and see how the production is going. I was talking to Freddie about the program. He thinks it's going really well. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I mean, we talk to him every day about how the program's going. He always says it's going fine and we're on track. We haven't missed a day in a while. I mean, uh, on, on TV anyway. There was a week, a couple of weeks ago. Hello? Hey. Hey. Yeah, you're on TV, Freddie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, Freddie, it's Sean. How are you? I'm good, too. Good. Good. Kenny. Kenny? Yes? Especially today at your band practice, when does your show uh, end? When does it end? Uh-huh. I mean, it's every day. It's on. It, it, we're on if for I about 45 minutes it, today. What time is it over? Do you want to come on? We have, yes, we have about, like to be movie stars. We have about 40 minutes still, so if you guys can, you think you can make it here in 40 minutes? Yeah, where do you live? Um, oh, uh, it's just, it's, it's, up on the east side. Yeah, there's a good time to plug the new studio, Rick. Yeah. We're at 1063 Capital Way. It's downtown. Downtown. <laughs> we're downtown, we're right next to the Capitol building. We're going to try it to go. It's a good idea because I don't have much planned today. Yeah, let's see if you can make it. You gonna, is Freddie going to come with you? Last week you said you were going to pull it together. You got you to gotta come on to the program and then I'll, I have questions waiting for guests. Is Freddie coming with you? There's no questions, but we're going to do a fashion show if we come. Oh, all right. Is Fre oh, fashion show? Oh, I'm a great model. Is Freddie coming? A model? Okay, we'll bring you a shirt. Um, but Freddie is going to come. Oh, all right. Wait, who is uh, this? Oh, Freddie's not invited. Part of the fashion show. Okay. Well, so you guys are going to be here soon. I guess we'll talk hey, to you guys Kimmy. when you get here then. Kimmy. You need to yes. Kimmy is Maggie. Oh, hi, Maggie. Hey, Kimmy. <laughs> What's up? So, uh, you guys are going to be coming in here. Are you coming with them too? Oh, I feel like we probably won't be in time. We're going to. Oh, well, you have 40 minutes. You don't think you're going to, you can't make it in 40 minutes? Yeah, you minutes? guys are in Olympia, right? I'm going to be. <laughs> Alright. Um, that sounds like they got either way, minutes. I'll be there uh, Wednesday at 2 p.m. Yeah, on Wednesday at 2 p.m. I bet, I bet you guys can make it here in 40 minutes. At least your friend's going to make it here and be modeling. When? Yes, hello? Have you been to China? Hey. You can switch it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something crazy going on on Freddy's end. Yeah, um, super swag, and yeah. All right, well, we'll see you guys in a couple minutes then, right? June 28th. Um, I can't speak for today, but Wednesday I will definitely be there. Oh, yeah. But your friends, your friends apparently want to come now, but we'll see you on Wednesday, Maggie. But, um, I think everybody else is coming too. Yeah, what do you think? What about Asha? Are you talk to her? Is she going to make it? Um, Asha is. Yeah, yeah, actually, she is going as is. I'm actually sure oh, bringing a lot of people. The is it fun that I bring like five or six people? Yeah, you can do that. Great, cool. Well, that's what I'm doing. All right, yeah, you can see the new studio. Have you seen any of the episodes of the new studio on TV? Yeah, fuck oh. yeah. Good. Um, Thanks. All right, so you guys are going to be here soon. Um, I guess we can talk to Freddie again, but or if you have anything you want, else you want to say to the public right now? See, what else? What else would I have to do besides go on the your dealer with me? Yeah? Nothing and everything. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, you're welcome. <laughs> Good, hello Bye. and goodbye. What? What's going on? Ready? Oh, they hung up. Hmm. That was weird. I don't know if they're going to show I up. I told them goodbye. Oh, all right. They might, may or may not. Let's see. Looks like the plot. We do that on the show sometimes. I'm gonna unplug.
It's like the plot of the show. You unplugging it? I'm just untangling a bit. Yeah. We're eating this McDonald's food with the new sauces. They I finished. I eat really fast. Oh, well. I'm a fast there's eater. There's still more. There's still a lot of chicken nuggets, though. Um, they told me that they, they're going to bring the orange milkshakes into Olympia soon. So I went there. I asked them about it. So that's going to be exciting. We can try that one out. Try it and bring it to the program. We're pretty close to another McDonald's. We kind of moved McDonald's. We used to be close to another one. Yeah, they they move around quite a bit, but... You know, some of the I, I know a lot of McDonald's that I, that have been there since I was a child, and they're still there. Yeah, they last forever. I don't think I've ever seen a McDonald's close down. I don't know if I've ever seen any any like Taco Bell close down. They're all still there. All the ones that I can remember. Oh, what are you doing, Sean? Whoa, crazy things! You messing with the machine? Yeah, just playing around. Sean's doing video stuff. It's called this Middletown Ohio McDonald's. See how they're doing today. I'm gonna be setting up uh, the camera. I'm gonna be doing some work. Uh, so I'm preparing. Hey, McDonald's. Yes. Hey, do you guys have that orange milkshake yet? We've had the orange milkshake. Oh, you have it. Yes. Oh, great. I'm waiting for our, our summer. Uh-oh. Oh, the internet crashed. That's bad. Sean, you have, you have something planned out for it? You have any songs today, or? Uh, no. But last week, I did three songs. I did three really good ones, so I'm going to put those up on the internet when they finally go up on YouTube. Today I'm going to take it easy because I don't know if you can tell, but I actually, I have a, I'm sick. I have a sore throat. Ooh. And uh, it hurts. It hurts to talk. It hurts to sing. So I'm just kind of trying to survive, you know. I haven't rubbed it in anyone's face that I'm sick or anything except for you. You're the, you're the first person that's heard it today. But you have a, your own mic. Sick. You have your own mic at least. Yeah. Oh man, uh, last time I was sick, it was on the program. I mean, I, I never, I don't get to take a break, and it was um, so I can go with them. But oh look, yeah, they're really into the sauces now. See, I'm in the inside of the the nugget thing, uh. dip each and every one in your juicy chicken McNuggets in tangy barbecue sauce. Which sauce did you go for? And then I asked you. So they're like really promoting the barbecue. sauce thing. But I think I did that. You know, I got the pop the sauces. I got they were like, oh yeah, people really like the sauces. I guess so. Now they're really into it. And then they, uh, they always, they're advertising them a lot, you know. Some new people are following us on Twitter. That's a good song. On a diet of cheese fries and cake. Also, Anna Grace Berry <laughs> and Sharpening Knives. They're all following us on Tumblr? They're following us on Tumblr? Tumblr, oh, Tumblr, not Twitter. Tumblr. Yeah, so we're on there. Sweet. How many Tumblr followers do we have? I, don't I haven't. I haven't checked out the Tumblr in a while. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what even that is. That who, who's Who's doing the Tumblr? Is that Freddy? Yeah. Hey, let's call Tony C. Sorry. Uh -oh. At the voicemail box. Tony C didn't answer. His voicemail box has not been set up yet. Let's get to it. What are we getting to? Let's get to it. How are you doing that? Here's calls. Oh, let's call the McDonald's. And if you want, Kenny, you can do the thing you were doing uh, two weeks ago, which I thought was really funny. How you have just the camera on your head and you're like up in the corner or something. Yeah. Like this. Oh, where am I? So this is. Uh, We got uh, Batman here. A lot of interesting things in the studio. There I am. In the corner. In the circle. All right. I'm making phone calls here. I forgot who I was calling. Who was it? Oh, calling McDonald's. McDonald's? I'm calling a McDonald's, yeah. In Ohio. 
saying, hey, Ohio McDonald's, and, you know, asking them if they had the sauce and orange, or if they had the oranges. No, no, no. I don't like, I don't like this. This is going. Out of here. I do like this, though. I do like... book. Orange. This McDonald's not answering. I don't think it's that late. You think McDonald's closed? It's so like 9 or 10 on, even on Sunday. Oh. Man's face. McDonald's was the internet. That was in Columbus, Ohio. Is that the capital? Mm-hmm. It's the capital of Ohio, Columbus. Here, it's called Sunbury, Sunbury, Ohio. This is no good either. This has got to go. Sunbury, Ohio. Hello? I can hear you. I'm answering the phone. Uh-oh. Viewers, you got to answer your phone, viewers. The internet crashed again. That is bad. Wake up, people. Yeah, the internet keeps crashing on us. What happens? We don't even make phone calls, can't do anything. Just gotta go with it. Yeah, that's fine. It's nothing new. Yeah. People can hear better these days, though. I went back and watched an old episode when people used to be able to not even hear the phone calls, so now they can understand what we're saying, but we're not saying yeah, anything anyway. A little more clear, a little more level headed. We're uh, about 200. Ira. I'd say we're about 280 days into the program now, uh, going pretty strong with it. 280 days, so we're uh, almost in the, you know, about a month. So I guess in, in July we're going to be in the, the moving to our fourth season of the program, or third season. Uh huh. Wait, what season are we on now? Three? Well, two. it depends on what you're going. Well, we're on by. season two. We're we're going to move into season three. Like, what are seasons to you? 100, 100, 100 episodes? episodes starting on episode 34. So, like, 34 to 134 is season one. Yeah. And then 134 to 234 is season two. Oh, yeah, I guess we're so in. So, we're still in two then. 130, 134 to 234. No, we're on season three, which is 234 to 334. And then we're going to be on season three. So, then we're, mo we're almost in season four. So we're moving forward Color to season four. Effects. One of these days, we're going to do a DVD box set uh, with each season. I don't know how many discs that would be. How much can a DVD hold, John? Do you know? Uh, DVD can hold 4.7 gigabytes. How many, about how many hours, do you think? Um, about two. That's it? Yeah. Just two hours? Yeah. No, more than that. A, a viewable content, yeah. Um, but if you if you like if you put it like video files that you can only watch on your computer, then yeah, you could fit almost a whole season depending on how much you compress. Yeah, well, we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do a video file. So, but then we'd have to have 50 discs in the box set. That seems like too many. Who needs who needs color digital effects when you can just hold up colors to the camera? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So and, um, I think I got the internet running again. It took me a little bit to get though. Um, but now, what are we gonna do? Now we're still gotta find somebody to call. I got the machine running to call somebody, but now who to call? Though? That's the thing. We're gonna look at the list. Oh, you can call Liam. Oh uh, yeah. You can call Shandra. You can call Alex. The Sean people. Sean, Sean wants to call his brother. You can brother. call all of my people. You can call some people that I'm not familiar with. I like that. I like meeting new people. Yeah. I can do that. That's good. Well, let's, let's uh, call I, somebody next. I remember in the day, not back in the day, it wasn't that long ago, we would we would call people because of their names, right? Mm-hmm. That was fun. Like a celebrity? Making new connections. You want to call a celebrity? <laughs> Or someone that has the same name as a celebrity. Mm, yeah, that's what we do. We try to call all the people with the name of the celebrity, and then we eventually find them. That's funny. Like, we can call, like, you want to call uh, Gene Simmons <laughs> from Kiss? Right. Yeah, let's call Gene Simmons from that's Kiss. Say, Say, when hey, do man. you like to rock and roll? Yeah. 
I all night. And I was thinking that. What do you like to do during the day? You should change the lyrics to "I want to rock and roll all day and party every night." Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh oh. Ask him if it's too late to change that. I don't see why. You know. Yeah. It's, they're in the recording process. They can just do a mix dub. They can redub it. The the song's still fresh. Still still new. Clean. It's a clean take. They're they're a clean group of guys. Kiss was always the cleanest man. They knew what they were doing. Forerunners of rock and roll. They're clean. They wear makeup and <clears throat> do costumes. We're kind of like that too. This is the costume that we put on. You know, we have a Kenny has a special program costume that he puts on. You think Gene Simmons lives in California? Yeah. He's definitely in L.A. Oh, well, here's the Gene Simmons in Hanford, California. It's calm. See how he's doing today. Say, hey, Gene. Switch. How do you like? Do you like the rock and roll? Sides. You like to rock and roll all night? I could definitely rock, try rock and roll all night. I would love to have the opportunity to rock and roll all, all night. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Gene. Yeah. Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing fine. Oh, good. Hey, it's the program. We're calling Gene Simmons. That's uh, yeah. You're the guy from Kiss. No. You know about that? It ain't me. But you know that guy? No, I don't know him. No. But you know about him? I know about him. You have the same name as him? Are you a singer-songwriter? No, not me. What, so, do you, what do you do, Gene? Who is this? This is a TV show. You're you're on you're on TV. Yeah, really. Yep. <laughs> it's called the TV. It's, 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 yeah, it's called Your Daily Hour with Me. No, uh, I, what we're doing that. today? I'm looking up everybody with the name Gene Simmons. And I'll call on them. Okay, well, I'm sitting here watching the Giants and the Cleveland Indians play uh, baseball right now. Well, who's winning? The Giants are. Oh, are, are you a Giants fan? Yeah, man, this is California. Yeah, that's good. Nice. <laughs> so are you following baseball in general this season? Always. Yeah? Yeah. Who's uh, who, who's uh, you rooting for the Giants overall out of all the teams? Or is that your favorite team there? Yeah. They're my favorite of all of them. For That's years good. So they years. won the World Series last time, right? First time in 50, 58 years. Yeah. So you think they're on the path to win again, or are they doing as well? Hope so. Yeah. Well, that's pretty exciting. Hey, Gene, do you like McDonald's? Pardon me? Do you like McDonald's? Oh, I guess they're okay. I don't usually go there. Oh. Hey, what's your favorite chicken nugget sauce? I don't have one. Oh, all right. <laughs> hey, Gene, do you do the internet? Yeah. Hey, I got to go, okay? I got company here right now. It's my mother-in-law's birthday, so I'll talk oh, to you Oh, tell her we said happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Check us out on YouTube. You can watch this episode. Do your daily hour with me, okay? Do you want, it? Do you want us okay, to... Okay, cool. Do you want cool. us to call you again or no? No, that's cool. Oh, right, okay, thank you. Thank you. See ya. I appreciate it. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Do you want us to call you again? Because we will. <laughs> we'll call you again. That was Gene Simmons. He's he's a friendly guy. He talked to us. Even though his mother was there, yeah. He reminded me of Mr. Ginsey a little bit on the phone. No, he can be like that. Some random TV show called me mom. Yeah. It was weird. Here, we're calling the next Gene Simmons. This one's in a. Uh, Pal or Palermo. Palermo, California. He's in power mode. Palermo. That's a weird. We should ask him about that. Yeah. There's a lot of Gene Simmons apparently. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Hi, Gene. Um, it's the program. It's you did that with me here. So uh, I'm calling you. See how you're doing today. See if you want to give me a call back. The number is 330-536-3802. Uh, uh, look forward to hearing from you. Uh, Just give us a call. We would love to hear from you. We got a lot of things to talk about. Thank you. 
That was the Gene Simmons in uh, Palermo, California. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that was quick. Man, I'm not even halfway done with my piece of art. Oh, wow, you better hurry up. But we didn't start it until about 15 minutes in, so. This, this next Gene Simmons is also in Palermo, California. There's two. I don't know if they're the same guy. They just have two different addresses or phone numbers or something. This one is aged 60 to 64, apparently. They tell you the age? Yeah, that might be, I think, I think Gene Simmons of Kiss might be that age. Because they started in, in like the 70s, he was like 20 in the 70s, and he'd be like... Yeah, maybe him. Could be him, yeah. Maybe we're on to something. Hello? Hello. Oh, Gene, is this the same Gene? Yes. Oh, sorry about that. Who's Wait, this? This is Rick Ward. Wait, did I, did I just call you? This is a different one. Oh, this is a different Gene. Oh, hey, Gene, how you doing today? <laughs> Who am I talking to? Oh, my name is Rick. Is it, and what uh, can I Rick, do for you? Rick. Well, I, I'm just calling everybody with that name Gene Simmons. You know, are you are you in KISS? You know that guy? No, 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 no. You got the wrong number. I'm not, I can't sing a lick. Oh, yeah. I'm just calling. Well, I'm not really looking for him in, in particular. We're on TV, and I'm just calling everybody named Gene Simmons. Uh, you got the wrong one. That's not me. Oh, well. Uh, we, uh, we knew that. Yeah, but how are you doing today? I'm doing good. <laughs> That's good. What do you What do you like to do, Gene? Uh, talk to you. I'm, I'm super busy right now. All right. All right. Can I we... Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> All right. See you later, Gene. Oh, well, that was Gene. Gene is busy, I guess. All the Genes there. They're all kind of busy guys. Yeah. And... Oh. Wow. Oh. What did you do? Well, that guy was 50 to 60, but. Uh, you, can't, you can't touch that camera. It's... Uh oh. Now it's freaking out. Uh oh. I hope I. Oh. Hey, hey, welcome to the program. Now it's kind of stretching out. Uh-oh. It's, it's cutting cutting around now. Do you want me to fix it? You can focus on making the next yeah. phone call and I'll get it. Try so to get this thing going. Out. Oh. I put VHSs under under the battery. On purpose? Yeah, so it would point down. Oh, there. Now it's kind of pointed down. It's kind of a weird framing, though. Uh, that was Gene. So... Uh, Hey, yeah, you want to you can fix your shot there, Sean. It's kind of messed up now. Okay. Or, or yeah. I'll come and fix it. So we have uh, so Jessica canceled on Monday, but we have a pretty good schedule going. We have uh, tomorrow. We have Dan Bennett Mondays, and then um, Tuesday we were gonna have. Jessica and Martise, but Jessica has canceled. Now it's just going to be Martise only in the studio here. Then on Wednesday... Has she done a solo show? Um, well, it's going to be me and Martise, yeah. I don't know if she's been here by her, just, just her. She's usually with Freddie, I guess. That's good. She's a good talker. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday, Maggie and friends, I guess. And then Thursday, we have Scott Doolin. Oh. Yeah. And then Friday, we have Christopher... Hey, I, I know Christopher. Yeah. Good good fellow. Christopher, then Saturday, uh, Lewis, and then Sunday, Sean again. Oh, and David Todecki, Sean. Ooh, David Todecki. So they're going to be here on uh, in a... Ooh. Who's David Todecki? I like the name. He's some guy. He's a local guy, but... Uh, nice. He's going to be on the show with the, with you, I guess, on one of those Sundays. Oh, uh, we'll, what? You didn't, you didn't run this by me. We'll have to figure it out. We'll tell him. I told him that it's okay already, though. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Is it okay? I guess it is now. All right. Well, let's call Redbird. Redbird is friends with Bet. Do you know Bet, Tom? Uh, I know a Beth. No, it's Bet. So we're calling Bet. Like the Bet, like the. Like gambling. Okay. Or the Hebrew letter Bet. Um. It's a Hebrew letter. Is that have to do anything to do with gambling? It's the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Gamel Dalet. Hey, Bob Zion Chetet Yod. Hi, this is Robert and Alt President. Please leave your name and phone number and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Bye. Bye. Hey, Red Bird. Hey. This is the program. Seeing how you're doing today. Uh, seeing how you and Bet are doing. Oh, it's time for a commercial break. Bye bye. I wonder, uh, you tried calling Tony? All of our time immersed in the internet. Our computer.
computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our con... We act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. You're with... Hey, welcome back. back. Yeah, we're back. Sean's over there still doing his thing over there with the paintings. I'm still over here. I'm rushing to get this done because I know the, the last half part portion of the hour is just around the corner. Yeah. I don't want to disappoint. You know, about 24 minutes, Sean. I think you can get it done in 24 minutes. You using that same tape? That tape is not going to hold. It didn't hold last time. Well, it's going to hopefully hold it together. Yeah. I'm putting in a lot more. Like, last time I just did one strip of tape and put it down. Oh, that yeah, didn't so, work So, like, well. this is probably going to be a little better because I'm using less tape in smarter, smarter areas. That's good. It's good to be smarter. That's helpful. Well, let's call Mr. Work, Ginsu. Work smarter, not faster. Yes, let's call this Ginsu. I gotta get my tough talk voice. Your call has been forwarded oh. to an oh. voice message system. Three, six, zero, I'll just five. It'd be like, just answer your phone. Yeah. Why is Mr. Ginsu not answering his phone? Hey. Oh. Hey, Mr. Ginsu. Hey, Mr. Ginsu. It's me, Tough Talker. Now, listen here. Why aren't you answering your phone? You're leaving all these messages, but you don't want to answer the phone. Huh? What's up with that? Yeah. Answer your phone. Yeah, Mr. Ginsu, where are you? What, you got a problem or something? Well, this is, oh, it's, it's the view from the floor. This is what a rat sees. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Ginsu didn't answer. Uh-oh, hey, that was a little message. Hey, man, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh... Really long message there. Huh. Well, we're waiting for, uh, waiting for Freddy, possibly, if they're going to come here. But. Maybe not. Are you thumping on the wall? I hear some thumping. I don't know what that is. Is that you? Yeah. What are you doing? Kicking the wall? Just dropping the tape. Just kicking the wall, top, or dropping the tape, kicking the wall, stuff like that. It's getting pretty wild. Wild back there. Yeah. So we'll see if Freddy's going to show up. I don't know if he will. Let's do a raffle for a prize. You want to give out your, art, your piece of art there, Sean, after you're done with uh, it? This is what it looks like so far. You want to give it away to somebody? Or do you want to keep it at the care. studio? Yes, let's give it to somebody. <laughs> let's, let's, let's pull a name here. Let's do a drawing. A drawing for this, this prize. Uh, here it's, we got this thing. It's not quite finished. This yet-to-be-finished art piece here. I'm going to do a drawing, see who's going to win it. You want to pull a thing? I guess I can do it. You you do it. I'm busy. I'm focused right now. I cannot break my oh, concentration. Oh, it's Dan. Dan gets it. Dan Bennett. Dan makes his own artwork. He doesn't want mine. Oh uh, well, should we call him anyway? See how he's, see how he's doing? Yeah, might as well. He uh, we'll give it to him. We'll tell him he won. He'll pick it up too. He's coming tomorrow. Dan uh, got a <laughs> surgery. Uh, he had a boil on his on his ass. Owie, owie, owie. He had to get it removed. That's what Robert told us. So, let me see how he's doing. I don't know if he's gonna make it tomorrow. Greetings. You have reached Lord Dan. Yeah. And I hey Dan, it's the program. If you're there, uh, you can pick hey, up. Hey Dan, it's Sean here. Give us a call, Dan. Yeah, maybe you're not there. Uh, okay, bye bye. Yeah, I don't know what Dan's gonna do. It's it's, it's down week at TCTV. I think he's still gonna be going into there doing other stuff though. Just not. <coughs> I met with uh, Peter today. Yeah. we are doing doing some work for uh, for the unsung heroes. Sung. What about the sung heroes? The, I guess the sung heroes are the ones that have the opportunity to sing their songs, and the unsung heroes are the ones that don't get the opportunity. Sung hero. That sounds like a. Korean guy to me. <laughs> um, oh, chicken nuggets. So, yeah, Sean's over there doing his thing. We're calling the people, calling some McDonald's, getting through the day. You know, some days, like last week, 
I think the last two weeks we've been doing it at 3 a.m., but today it's just a regular time in the middle of the day. Yeah, you get to work today, and then after that, go home. Yeah, we just go right home, but I think we're maybe even doing less than we had in the past two days, even though it's been super late in those other days, so. The late night was pretty fun. Yeah. Maybe we can do it again just for fun. Yep. Let's change it up, baby. Let's try to You want to try next week? Maybe. Let's You're see like, how it goes. Yeah, it's, it's not that fun. I'm tired. It's too late. It's too, <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. But Kenny, Kenny can't handle it. This week we're doing it at a regular time, but what's going to happen? You know, sometimes I think that I should write down things to do on the program, but then, you know, I never really get to it. And then. What do you mean? You know, write down a list of topics or games or something. You don't do that. I think sometimes I think I should do that while I'm doing the show, you know. I don't do it, then I sit down on the show, and then we get down to this time of the show, and we're about 40 minutes in, and I'm like, what? What's gonna happen next? I have 20 minutes to do this show. I didn't even plan. I didn't even you write down. You wanted to have a conference, right? Yeah. When do you want to? Do you want to book that? Do you want to try to try to schedule a date where we can have a conference? Yeah, maybe. That's something we can do after. Well, t- well let's go to, if Freddie shows up, we can discuss the conference. Okay. You guys want to come to a conference that you guys can be on the board, the Your Daily Hour with me board, <laughs> board of. Um, it's an exciting board. We can be on the conference board. We can con- confer, confer in with the board about major decisions. So when we have a decision, we'll have a, a committee meeting. We'll sit around a conference table. Uh huh. We will talk about about talk the future business. of the program. Talk business. S- see what has to be cut. Who's got to be fired? Who's rehired? And what what bits on the show we're gonna change and what bits we're gonna bring back. Yeah. We listen to you to a lot of your comments. Um, you guys have a lot of suggestions about the show. And we listen to each and every one of them, and we make those changes. Yep. And uh, there. Mm-hmm. Caller, caller came, called us, and said, "Hey, you know what? The best thing about the program was that you guys had a clock cam. That was the most exciting part of the show. Is when the camera would point at the uh, clock." And they would, that's when they knew to, to drink some beers. So it was like a game for them. Whenever Kenny said the word like, they would take another swig of alcohol and it became a fun game. Um, so we decided to bring the clock cam back for those people. Yeah. So Dan didn't answer. I guess we should uh, do another drawing to see who's going to win. Um, here we go, next drawing. call Liam? He's got video game updates. Well, we'll call uh, Liam, we'll call Allie. Allie won a prize. We're gonna have to call Allie. We'll call Liam. Okay, that sounds like fun. To say, hey Allie, you won the prize. You won the, the art. Oh, she probably won't like it. I'm insecure. No one likes my art. I'm not good enough to be an artist. I just do it because I think people will appreciate me. Hello? Hello, Allie? Yeah? Hey, it's the program. It's the, you're on TV. Oh, hey. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Oh, that's, that's great. Hey, you won the prize. What? You won a prize. What did I win? You, you won a free subscription. Sean, Sean is making an art piece on the program today, and you get to take it home. Who did? Sean Downey. Oh, cool. He's here. He's putting together his, his work of art, and you won the drawing. Yay. Yeah. All right. That's cool. I like art. Oh, good. What's it look like? Well, I don't know yet. I'm still working on it. Okay. He's creating right it now, on the program. It's, it's happening. I'm making it right now, so... It looks like a rainbow, a lot of colors. Allie, I like that. What do you like to do for the Fourth of July? I want to have a barbecue. What's what's what do you I like mean, to eat at barbecues? Hamburgers or? What? What do you like to eat with your barbecue? Hamburgers? Um, I don't know. I don't like eating. <laughs> I just want people to come over and grill things. You just like to, you don't like to eat you don't like the eating part you just like the social part yeah I'll eat, yeah I'll eat corn on the cob or something oh, are, are you a, are you a vegetarian 
No. Oh, but you just, you just want to eat corn on the cob? Eat lightly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you want to be on the program sometime? We can schedule you. Do you want to come on in July at some point? Sure. Yeah, that'd be fun. How about, uh, about July, uh, 5th? Okay. That's a Tuesday. Sure. Uh, uh, how about at, uh, 2 p.m.? Okay. All right, you're scheduled, so now mark that, mark, mark that in your calendar. Uh, yeah, I'll do, yeah, I'll put it in my calendar. Hey, have you seen anything exciting on the streets lately? Um, no, not really. Nothing? That's cool. You haven't seen anybody, like, fall? Anybody trip, trip for something? No, nobody tripped. Nobody fell. Oh, that's good then. There were, there were a lot of people that asked, um, me for cigarettes today, but I didn't have any cigarettes. They ask you on the street? Yeah, people on the street, they want cigarettes. Yeah. They like them. Those people... Okay, guys. Um, I gotta go, though, because I was, like, I'm in the middle of something. Oh, all right. But I'll, I'll come and hang out on July 5th. July 5th at 2 o'clock. Write it, write it down. Okay. I'll have a good time. See you later. Okay. Bye, Kenny. Hey. That was Ali. Uh, nobody fell down. That's good. It's not yeah, inter- no not too, yeah. It's a good thing. So you know, when, when we have boring days on the program, you know, I mean, I mean, it's kind of, kind of like the same thing. You have boring days in your life, and you think, man, this day is not like, super exciting. But you know, on those days, you're safe. You're, yeah, you're safe. Things haven't gone wrong. You're not hurt. You haven't fell down. No, no, there's no accidents. Everything. Everything's fine. You get to watch TV or do something minimal. Yeah, it's a smooth sailing. And you're just like. You know, you think you think, oh man, I'm I'm having a I'm bored, you know. But if you say you're bored, then you could be at least you're not. Do you, do you know what I tell people dead. who get bored? Because uh, I get a lot of complaints from kids. They come up to me and they say, I'm bored. I got nothing to do, or they they expect me to like give them something to do or suggest. I just say, well, you know what they say about people who are bored? They're boring people. Yeah. Like you're you're a boring person if you're bored because then you're you can't entertain yourself, you can't keep yourself, you know. What do the kids say to that? They they're like I'm not boring. I'm not a boring person. I'm like, "Well, then come up with something." And then do they, do they or are you bad? They at they usually stop bothering me and they 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 get creative. They actually have to think about something that they have to keep themselves busy, so they usually they usually create something with art or they play like a board game. That's good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're we're getting through time on the show. Yeah, we're not here. We're just, we're having fun. How, mu- how much time do we have? We have about 12 minutes left. Okay, I think I can do it. Yeah, you got to get that done for Ali. She won the prize. She's gonna be here on July 5th to pick it up. It's called uh, Liam. Oh. I'm doing it as fast as I can. Next, we're gonna call Liam. I wonder if, if Freddie and those people are gonna show up. They seem to kind of like they're. Uh, they seem kind of loopy or something on the phone. Did you pick up on that at all? Oh, uh, maybe they were intoxicated. Yeah, they seem kind of. That's normal. They seem possibly intoxicated. Are you jealous? Hello. Hey, Liam, it's the program. How you doing today? I'm 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 rushing rushing to Bellevue right now. Me and Alex just got back. There was tons of traffic. Liam's traffic report. There's yeah. lots of traffic on I-5 going north in Tacoma. Oh no! All the way to the Tacoma Dome. It go. It pretty much goes from Fort Lewis to the Tacoma Dome. Whoa! That is. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's a nice day. Uh, but. I think I know why, and I think I figured it out. What? It's because of that stupid sign that promotes the Tacoma Dome events. Oh, yeah. If they got rid of the sign, there would be no traffic in Tacoma. Well, that's something they got to change. But they like that sign. It brings them... Think about it, because all of a sudden the traffic was fine after the sign. They like that sign, though. People want to know what's happening. What? They like the sign. How are we going to know what to buy? They just need to face it away from the road. But, um, but then how are the roads? And then people and then people off the road can look at it. Yeah. 
I don't think that's gonna happen. We gotta figure out an alternative solution. Like a radio. Yeah. Everybody just don't look at the sign. Yeah, don't look at you know, the sign. You know what I heard Especially that? when it's flashing like Britney Spears. Everyone wants to see that. Traffic, I heard that traffic is actually caused, you know, because people slow down and speed up too much. And if you go at yeah, a steady- Yeah, they slow down because they want to watch Britney dance. Instead of slowing down, going at a steady pace, you know? It's like everybody slams thing, on Yeah, you know? people shouldn't be able to control their speed. Exactly. That's, that's Everybody should stay steady. So let's just stay here. We'll, we'll help clean up the traffic by saying that. Everyone, if you just stay steady, then then we'll get through the day. Yeah. There you, what do you think? That, yeah, don't look at stuff. Yeah, don't look at stuff. There you go. We made the we made it better now, you know? Every the whole all the whole all freeways should just be above ground tunnels. Yeah. There's nothing on them. No distractions. Yeah. Then everybody will go good, better. Hey Liam, any any new video game news? Let's see. Um not really. Not really. Uh, I I give some some inside much. news. Um Duke Nukem Forever is is not a bad game. Not anymore. It 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 is just outdated. Okay. So it so so I would like viewers to um you know not feel like they shouldn't give the game a try. Right. Because it, it it's a it's a, a well a well made game and it, it, it makes some clever jokes. Well it's a very anticipated game. Right? We've been waiting yep. for this game for twelve years now. And is it a first person shooter still? Twelve years. Yeah. Do they still have those uh those the women who are who are stuck in the, in like the plants and they're like, they're like kill me, kill me. Remember that? In the original Duke Nukem? Yeah. All right. Do you remember that, Liam? Okay. There was a cop. Oh, okay. All right, bye-bye. All right, and then... He's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh. So Liam, that's the news for today. Do you remember, do you remember in the old Duke Nukem? Liam, do you remember in the old Duke Nukem where they had, like, the plants, and there was a woman, and they were sucking plants, and they're like, kill me, kill what? me, kill me. Did you play the original Duke Nukem? Yeah. Well, they did that, and then they, uh... When you killed them, you would get power or something. Remember? Because uh, you were bad. I can't hear you. No, because they were in, they were suffering. It was weird. There was girls. There were women stuck in these traps or something, and they're like, "Kill me, kill me." And then uh, <laughs> it was kind of freaky, you know. Remember that, Liam? No. If, uh, if a person was suffering and he asked them to kill you, would you do it? No. <laughs> what if you what they, what if they're in a trap? Like in some weird trap, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. I was supposed to call Andy Brack, tell him about his his uh, hi hat stand. All right, we'll talk to you later, Liam. All right, see you guys. See kill ya. me. Don't do that. Yeah, don't kill me. That's um. <laughs> okay. That was a it was a weird part of the game. Too. It was a very far out, far out game. I, I, I'm playing Alice Madness Returns, and it's, it's gotten better. It started off kind of repetitive, and then it turned into a good game. Still playing that one, huh? So it's long, huh? Yeah, it's a long game. I think that's one of the reasons why it's good. Colin Andy, he's supposed to pick up his hi-hat stand. Yay, last piece. There's the hi-hat stand right there. It's in focus. See, the camera's focusing on the hi-hat stand and not on the... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. It's done. Show the camera. Hey, Andy. It's the program. You see how you're doing today? Uh, also, your hi-hat stand is here. So if you want to pick it up, you got to call in the program. Hey. Hey, Andy. It's Sean. Just want to say hi. Thanks. <sighs> yeah. Maybe it's the chicken nuggets. I'm getting sleepy. Uh, nuggets make you sleepy. The nuggets are, I'm getting the McDonald's lethargy here. Getting a little bit tired. So we're pretty well scheduled. Uh, you gotta go to work, Kenny. Yeah, I'm working a bit. I'm gonna drink some coffee. 
get go to Ballyhoo on Sundays is hip hop night. It's pretty fun. It's in Tumwater. Check that place out. That sounds cool. Hip hop. Hip hop don't stop. Yep. We're calling Scott Doolin. I'm going to remind him of his schedule. He's scheduled to be here on Thursday. Hey, why don't you bring that over here, Sean? You, wanna, this, you can hold it up for the rest of the program. Are you going to, like this? There it is. <laughs> Rotated all around so you get to see the three. Put into an automated voice messaging system. Couldn't you what? Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, press five. Oops. Hey Scott, how you doing? It's the program. You're scheduled to be here on Thursday. I just wanted to give you a reminder of that, so let's see if you make it on there on Thursday. All right, have a good time, Scott. See you later. Well, we're about three minutes left on the program. We're about through with it today. Uh, we've, t we've done it. We turned on the machine and started talking. We got through the hour. You know, today I wasn't, I wasn't sure. You know, sometimes I think, what are we oh, going to do? You're always sure. You're always sure, Kenny. Yeah, well, we just got to not stop talking and get through the day, but I was I just wasn't sure of what we were going to do on the program, you know. I just didn't have any I didn't have any you, thoughts. I was when we started I'm pretty you know, you can expect what to get from expect me. Expect some right? things. Yeah. But when I started the show today, I was thinking, man, what are we going to do? We have a whole hour, and now here we are at the end of the hour and we've done it. We've pretty much made it through uh, another day on the program. We're on about 280 something. You know, some people they, they didn't think it would go, but you know, 280 days, not that long compared to forever. Did anyone ever tell you you couldn't do it? Um, I don't think anybody ever used those words. No but, one ever said you can't do this every day. Yeah, nobody was gonna challenge. Nobody challenged me, but they. No, I think definitely people thought that maybe at me. You think so? You could kind of sense. They're like, you're you're not gonna do that, but. You know, we are, it's not too long yet. We're still it's keep not going. That hard. We gotta keep going. I I knew that when you do it, like when you first mentioned it, I I wasn't, I didn't think you could do it. I just thought it would be like a little boring. You know, it'd be like, gosh, so that's a lot of work for one person. You know. Yeah. You think you you still think that's a is that the case? You change your mind on that? Well, you know, it all depends on how you look at it. I'm doing other videos and other projects too. I'm doing art. If I wasn't doing that stuff, I would have more time to do something like a daily hour program. So it's only one hour a day. Right. It's only seven hours a week. How much time is that really? You know, that's, I spend enough time watching TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, is this one hour when I'm not watching TV? I'm so just yeah, on TV instead. I don't watch TV. You don't watch TV at all? I do not watch TV at all. I download my episodes of television. Yeah. So, like... That's still TV, though. I mean, you watch... It's still TV, but, like, I watch one or two episodes a day. Yeah. And sometimes I don't watch them What are you watching? All. What are you watching right now? You watch uh, America's Got America's Talent, right? America's Got Talent. Yeah. And South Park. Who's your favorite America's Got Talent person right now? I'm not sure who mine is. Ooh, yeah, I'm still gonna... I, I, I can't make a choice until after the auditions. Yeah, they have a lot of things, yeah. So we're gonna see what happens on that, but... It's pretty good. I like that show. We're following that show. So maybe if you want to remember who about that, you guys have anything about that? We're whoa! Look at that. We're doing the uh, that. Oh, here it is. Oh, thanks for having me on the show again, Kenny. Yeah, for never made it. Hey, thanks. It's June 26th, everybody. If you're looking for crew members, if you guys want to be on the crew, you can do anything. You don't have to do anything or anything. You can be on your name. You put your name on this list. Uh, who's this? Oh, you should probably answer that. Hello? Hello? Did you call? Um, yeah, Scott. You wanna, you're going to come on Thursday. It's the end of the program right now. You're scheduled for Thursday, remember? Yeah. Oh, that's you good. Are reminding me? Yeah, we're reminding you. All right. Yeah, I didn't listen to the voicemail. Yeah, okay, good. Thanks, Scott. I'm See you then. Bye-bye. Okay. 
Okay, goodbye. Okay.